Correct. We're back with today. Table cold temperatures call for a much needed comfort food in the home. So we brought in Jocelyn Delk Adams, author of Everyday Grand, to share a delicious, cozy winter meal. And if you want to cook along, we invite you to do that. You can use that QR code right there to get all the ingredients. You can do that easily in just one click. Happy New Year, Jocelyn. Great Thank to have you, you here. Happy got the New Oscar Year. nominations are happening right this now. This is like my Christmas day. Yeah, I have no on. idea how much I enjoy Oscar nominations. We make We're going to have them for us in a few minutes. Well, let's Thank get to you. that delicious meal. What, what are you making for us? All right, so we are going to do some rotisserie chicken stuffed shells. Love and it. we start with just a rough chop of our garlic. We want to just cut off that stem and then just go down this, like, really quickly. So when you said rotisserie, I'm thinking, do I have to make a chicken, or can you just buy a rotisserie chicken? Yes, you can or? just buy a rotisserie chicken. It makes it so much okay. easier instead got of it. just making it your own cut all the time. So, you got so we're going to start working on the sauce. Yeah, so we're going to do a rough chop of that, and then uh, we're going to get to the sauce. So we're going to add in some heavy cream. Oh, nice, that nice sizzle. Ooh. Then we're going to add in some parm, because okay. we want to make this thick That's and good. creamy, right? We've got some Creole seasoning. That's where you're getting that kick. Ooh. Creole seasoning and some Italian seasoning. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a blend. It's a mashup, right? Beautiful. And we're going to whisk that together. And we're going to actually bring that to a simmer so we can get that to get nice okay. and thick. We'll work on then we're going to work on this this rotisserie chicken. You can easily shred this with like two forks. You can use your hands. Or I have a nice trick. I like to use a hand mixer. Oh wow. Yes. Get a big bowl, throw that chicken in, and use the hand mixer. And, and then the meat just minutes. falls off the bone? Falls off, shreds wow. it perfectly, wow. does wow. it in a couple minutes. It's so crazy oh easy. God. Yes, I have like a <laughs> quick TikTok on it too. I'm into that. So you have yeah. your sauce, you have your, your chicken's been pulled off the pulled bone. Pulled off the bone, you've and got And now this. everything sits for a second while yes. you make the piping. Yes, so we got to make the sits. filling. So we're going to add our chicken into some mm -hmm. ricotta. We've got mm -hmm. some broccoli so we can get some veggies yeah. in here. Mm -hmm. I also like to sub in some, you know, spinach. Spinach, if you yeah. want to add that in too. Mm -hmm. We've got some onions. We've got some more parm because, you know, hey, we got to add that into This is already giving meal. me like broccoli cheese vibes, yeah. which is a comfort food when it's, it's cold out. Food. Yes. And then I add in a little bit more Creole. We're going to mix that Why all not? together and Why you're going to get that nice and smooth. Yes, and then you here, are. we've got our filling. So. How, how do me, Craig, and Al do this? this okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. It's like intimidation pipe factor. cupcakes. Yes. Come on. When you got kids, Piping. you got pipes and cupcakes. Tell them right? about the Ziploc trick. Yes. Oh, yes. So, okay, yeah. most people don't have, like, a piping bag no. at home. Right. You can get one of these bags, the resealable bags. You just snip off the end huh. oh, okay. once you've added well, now, in everything, see, and then asked. it just comes right mm -hmm. out. We're gonna so, that awesome. Awesome. We can do that. Everyone's we can got that. that at home. Right. Uh -huh. So you want you want to you try? You yeah, keep saying yes, that. Yes, yeah. let's do it. Okay, you're just going to fill this. You've already, like, um, you know, cooked your spinach or your pasta, and then you're just going to pipe this right inside. You want to try it? Yep, I sure do. Okay, go for it. I'm telling you, so easy. Or if you get really into Intimidated, Craig. You can okay. use a spoon. Oh, God, All right. You can no play it easy. <laughs> and then what, Jocelyn? How long you yeah. put you so cook once these we off? Have those, yeah. So once we have those filled, we're going to put that right on top of can our sauce. Can I ask sauce. a dumb question? Are those, <laughs> is those pasta shells, are they already pre-cooked? Yeah. So we okay. cooked them already. Right, okay. They're ready to go. Okay. We've let them kind of come to room question. temperature. Okay. And then we're <laughs> adding them right on top of the oh, sauce that we prepped earlier. Yeah. So we're going to pop these in. We're going to add some cheese right on top and bake them for about 20 minutes till it's nice and bubbly and delicious. Wow. You know what? It's also good for kids because mm. it's delicious, but you hit a little broccoli. I know. Yeah. I like that. I just throw as much green in there as possible. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's fun. Colors, it also has, like, know. could you make this ahead of time? Yes, you can totally prep this ahead of time. Put this in the refrigerator and then bake it off. It has, like, a little bit of a guilt-free thing to it, too. It doesn't feel too bad. Like you're eating a yeah, giant lasagna. Yeah, but it's lasagna nice and cozy, too, right? Oh, exactly. Delicious. And then you've got the chicken, so it's a little lighter. Thank you so much. Thank you. More recipes in the next hour, by the way. Again, you can buy the ingredients with just one click, scan the QR code or head to today.com slash table. We want to mention today earns a commission from purchases.